Nah, let me share. Adi, nong nak pisa? Hai, nong nak nakal? Nong nak nakal le? Nenek nakal le? When the Japanese Imperial Army occupied countries across Southeast Asia during World War II, soldiers kidnapped thousands of young women to serve as comfort women or forced sex workers. But on the tiny island of Timor, local women figured out how to use the Japanese forces' apparent respect for married women against them and save themselves from sexual slavery. These women chose to heavily tattoo themselves, thus marking them as taken or married according to local beliefs. The plan worked. Japanese soldiers avoided the tattooed women of Malacca, Timor, and the women were able to avoid the dark fate that hundreds of thousands of others were forced into. Today, only a few of these tattooed women remain alive. We traveled to Malacca to hear their stories. So I've just arrived in the village of Umataos, and I'm about to meet these women who were mostly born in the 30s, so have a lifetime of questions to ask them. Wait. This is Vilomina Hoar, one of the most powerful women in the village. The tribes of Malacca are one of the few matrilineal societies left in Indonesia. Here, the women have all the power and control each family's wealth. We've brought some city pinang to share. It's what you generally do when you visit people here. Trying it for the first time. It's making my tongue go numb. There's a bitter flavor. I feel like I'm getting some energy from it. Enak. Belum. Enak. Enak. Bagina. Dari apa artinya? <laughs> These women are all that remain of Malacca's tattooed women. Each of them have outlived their husbands, and the faded ink under their skin tells a story of resistance and rebellion. Their names are powerful reminders of the resilience of women. Florentina Rica, Maria Bita, Maria Teresia Bete Umabot, Maria Teresia Buyuli, Maria Teresia Hoar, and Mariana Hoar who is letting me tag along as she searches for firewood, a daily chore in her village. Untuk perempuan yang tidak punya tato, bagaimana? Mana Jepang sih ya? Si rola rola oh, si rola berapa? Tahun hata oke? Itu ke jarum jarum jarum. Darah, berdarah. Sakitnya? Ih, sakit mati. Pakai? Pakai. Tu tu eh? Lah amari, emak lah tinggal kita isu ini ni aku. Ti. อ่าแต่เล็กดีใช่ไหมอ่าอันนี้น้องนักดีใช่ไหมน้องนักนักอ่ะน้องนักนักอะไรเนี่ยนักอะไรเนี่ยอ่ะก็ชัวร์มันจ
at pabalikat lo sinya na ihalo hot dapat Modernization and criminal stigma under General Saharto's authoritarian regime played a large part in young Malacca women's decision to get tattooed. But there's another reason why so few of them choose to go under the needle the pain. Zamannya nenek-nenek mereka bisa mengerti bahwa mungkin itu untuk sebagai penangkal terhadap gangguan-gangguan penjajah. Tapi kalau kita zaman sekarang, alangkah lebih baiknya dicari jalan yang cara yang lebih tidak menyakitkan. Jadi kami lebih memilih untuk tidak bertato. We spent this much time talking about tattoos, but we were still curious about the process. Although the original tattoo artists have all passed away, the head of the tribe offered to show us how they were done. He's going to put a symbol on me, which represents this tribe specifically. It's two circles and a few lines representing families being tied together and then being tied to the earth that they are born on. Tintanya diambil dari lampu lantera ini. Ini dia punya arangnya diambil begini. Yeah, you can see the black smoke coming out of there. Arangnya diambil. I think I need a cigarette before I do this. It hurts with that thing a little. Nothing. I'm trying to imagine how this would feel doing this for an entire day as these other women have done in order to cover entire legs, hands, arms. You take a lot of patience. Okay, she's going a little harder this time. Yeah, yeah, it'll be keras lagi, tambah sakit. Gak apa-apa. Supaya dia hitam masuk, ya. Oh, nara ketak, wipet pertama. Where the actual tattoo is doesn't hurt too much. But um, my hands trembling a little. I'm definitely bleeding now. Mm -mm. I came into this story thinking it was something inspiring about women's resistance. But it's also pretty heartbreaking. The tattoo traditions of the women of Malacca will die out with these women. I couldn't help but think about how, worldwide, the weight of maintaining traditions, of keeping them alive, so often falls on the shoulders of women. And that's why we need to celebrate these women's courageous and heroic stories while we can.